I'm no mechanic, but let's go fix some cars. We have a blue order. That means it's a, a mission car. Front suspension. I'm really excited about getting some levels up on this game because I've been playing it like crazy on the Xbox when I don't feel like recording and I just earned my third garage bay which includes the paint shop and the dino shop so getting, coming backwards to this level of shop is a little difficult but I want to I want to go through these jobs, missions, whatever you want to call them pretty quick because I want to get to the good stuff. I want to get to the uh, barn cars, the junkyard cars, all that good stuff. In case you haven't noticed, I mean I haven't said it because it seems like it goes without saying, but the rusted parts are the ones that need to be replaced. So I wasn't really paying attention to what the percentages were, but let's just say, see what this caliper is, because it looks pretty clean, not much rust. 80%, 80%, so we'll see what this drive axle is. 17%, so obviously 80% we'll put back on the car, 17% needs to be replaced. So that's how we're going to be able to tell what, what goes on our parts list to buy and replace and what parts to save to put back on the car. So both of those tie rods, the inner and the outer, can be replaced. I don't think this ventilated disc is going to need to be replaced, but let's just see. Yeah, that's 80-80. So let's just put that right back on. Let's see, those pads were 80 calipers were good so I just need that drive axle the tie rods I didn't even notice what that shock absorber was at when I took it off I was thinking about what to talk about and wasn't looking so here when we use this uh, I don't know what's it called this little tool the spring puller when we use the spring puller to separate these parts, now we'll be able to reuse the front spring because it's at 80%, but that shock absorber A and the, the front shock absorber cap are both going to need to be replaced. So when we go back over to the car and right-click and check out our parts list, you'll see the shock absorber and the cap on the list, but you won't see the spring on the list. So what we need to do is take this apart, go by the, the shock absorber and the, this, the, the, the cap, and then uh, put it back together with the spring that we save. So you see we got some parts over here to replace too. That list didn't look terribly uh, long. Uh, you know when I clicked on the car when it was over on the floor, there, there it didn't seem like it was too long of a list, just a little over one page worth. So what I'm going to look at here is check out these bushings, because obviously this lower arm is going to be replaced. Let's we'll see what the bushings are at. Oh. 80, 80, 11. So the bushings are good. We'll reuse the bushings. That's good to know. I wonder if there's any mechanics that watch these videos. Any mechanics out there that watch these videos on YouTube? Because I've always wondered when you take these bushings out of a car, I know it's not the exact same as a real car, but when you take these cars apart and you see bushings that are bad, do you, how do you decide what bushings go back in the car? How do you decide what bushings come out of the car? Um, if you replace one, do you just go ahead and just replace them all? Uh, I'm just kind of curious what the rule of thumb is for replacing those bushings because I get it in the game but in real life, you could go broke replacing people's bushings. So the housing and the radiator, about the 
two fans look good. See, I can see in that filter it looks okay. A lot of these times they'll come in with complaints of like, uh, you know, like this one is suspension problems, and they'll slip in an extra part and you can't find out, you can't figure out what it is because you've fixed all the suspension parts that you can see wrong. But every once in a while they'll throw in like an air filter being bad or maybe a fuel pump being bad. Uh, you gotta look around and just keep on your toes. So it looks like I found all the parts. Now I just gotta go buy them. Both shock absorbers, both caps. Sway bar link A. Front drive X. Let's see. Let's see if we can remember all. That's a lot for me to remember. There's no way I'm going to remember even all that, but let's see how much I can remember. So it's A times two two caps oh, it was a sway bar front and link a two of those uh, let's see there was the out you know what I could just do tie rod get both of them in one swoop what else was there Oh, I don't remember, so that'll give us something to do, and then we'll just recheck the list. I don't think I've uh, upgraded any of my skill points yet. I'm a level 4, so that means I have a couple to use, but... Oh, the front drive axle C, that's right. Oh, I didn't put those shock absorbers together. I think maybe we'll do two jobs. Oh, lower suspension arm. Okay, so lower suspension arm. And I gotta take apart the shock absorber and then front drive axle C. I technically don't have to take this shock absorber apart. I just don't like seeing them sitting in my inventory. You know, actually, I do need to take it apart because I need the spring off of them. So, disregard what I just said. I did need to take them apart. If you're buying all new parts to build a shock absorber, if you need a cap, a spring, and a shock absorber, then you don't need to pull the old ones apart. You can just leave them combined in your inventory. That's what I was expecting. Lower suspension arm. That was the other thing I forgot. It is way nicer um, typing this stuff in on the computer than doing it on the Xbox. Man, it's, it's it takes a long time to type stuff in on the Xbox, so you end up just scrolling like crazy. So we're going to remember to use those 80%. Yep, there we go. Bushings. Save some money there.
We are in the middle of a heat wave here at my in my home state. Sitting here with the air conditioner on, the fans on, we got everything going. It is crazy hot here. We'll be complaining about how cold it is here in a couple months, so I'm going to try not to complain about the heat. That's everything on the lower half. Radiator. Fan housing B. Okay. I forgot to see what radiator it was. Poor memory, kicking in. Radiator A and fan housing B. I'm glad I checked because I was going to buy the regular fan housing. There we go. Now we might be able to wrap this thing up. If you guys have any questions about how to play the game, I'm assuming you're watching this game because you play it or you're thinking about buying it. If you have any questions, feel free to shout them out, write them down, do whatever it is you got to do to ask. You know how to do that. And I'll see if I can get the answer for you if I don't know right away. So we spent 1280 bucks to make 1980 bucks. That was a story mission, so... You got to do those to progress in the, in the uh, if you want to keep getting those skill levels up. You got to keep doing those story missions. They're actually highlighted here in blue. Those are the ones that you want to focus on doing. So, I hate doing these rotary engines, but they do make a... When you get to the point where you can do barn cars and junkyard cars, these Mazdas... Well, I, actually, I don't know about the RX-3. The RX-7. Uh, on my other profiles, I've been buying those for... 20 25,000 and selling them for 45 to 60,000. I don't know why they're worth so much in this game, but it's a good way to make some quick money. Ah, the Smith 1500. Let's take that. Some brakes. One caliper, one shoe. Not going to make much money on this one. So Smith is the car mechanic simulator code name for Ford. I haven't actually run into too many Ford cars to even work on. Um, get a lot of Chevys, which in this this game are known as Bolt. Bolt is the name brand. So there's one caliper. Caliper and a shoe. Of course, opposite ends of the truck. Alright, so we know there's a caliper bed there. It's 9%. Let's assume that. The shoe is on the same side, or the bad shoe is on the same side as the bad caliper.
Those look okay. Yep, 59, they look good. This game does get really cool once you get into it. You can change the wheel sizes, the tire sizes. Uh, I built a Jeep the other day on one of my other profiles where it was... Um, I made it like a monster truck. It looked pretty cool. A lot of these cars, the old muscle cars, you could put bigger wheels with lower profile tires. They look really sharp. Right now... Just gotta get through these missions at the beginning. Okay, let's just do this. If you're ever looking for brakes, don't bother typing it in. Just hit on the tab because everything here is two rows. So uh, easy to find. You don't have to type anything in. You can just go straight to the tab and find it real easy. I wonder if we're even going to make a hundred bucks on this. One shoe and one cow. Oops. Forgot it wasn't that side. Quick drum and quick. And I do like that you can do this. You can end the job right from the car on the lift. Just hit finish order. Spend 110 to make 164. Wow. 50 bucks. Well, there's my two jobs for this video, guys. We'll end it for here. End it for now. Uh, right now, we're just trying to build our, our levels up. Actually, let me see what's available. Having the tablet available is actually really nice uh, down here. This gives you the opportunity to buy parts off the internet without having to run over to the computer in the corner every time. Um, actually, I'm going to unlock that because that way I can show you the test path next time we come back. 50% screwing and unscrewing, 10% faster walking, better discounts in shop, faster part installing and removing faster part examinations i'm just going to leave the blank for now i just want to get this extra bay in here so i can uh show you that the next time oh no it's not an extra bay it's just the uh the test path so in here we'll show you what that does next time so that's the end of this video until next time